current coronavirus pandemic has brought many surprises for doctors around the world. For one in Sioux Falls, it was when she contracted the virus herself. Kettle Lands, Max Hofer has the story. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Sophie. Now, when a surge of COVID-19 cases hit in early April, Dr. Leah Prestbo felt the effects both at her job and at home. Dr. Leah Prestbo is a physician at the Avera McGreevy Clinic in Sioux Falls. She has 10 years of experience connecting with her patients. I'm a family doctor, so I see everybody from babies all the way to grandparents and through the entire life process. When the coronavirus pandemic hit, she and her colleagues found alternative ways to keep those connections strong. I have a lot of patients who I'll see over video or you know, in person in some, certain cases in the respiratory clinic. After and talking with them, she noticed a common feeling they share. And they're just scared, you know, they don't, they don't know what to expect. And quite frankly, there are only so many things that any of us know about this virus right now. A feeling she knew too well when she contracted COVID-19 back in April. It was when the surge first occurred and she contracted it unknowingly from a coworker who tested positive. You know, as soon as she started developing any symptoms, she went home. But just in that, you know, small amount of time that we happened to be together and probably while we were working together before she developed symptoms, that was enough. Prestbo's symptoms showed up in about two weeks, and she says they included a headache, congestion, and a cough. As soon as I started developing that cough, I went into um, our upstairs uh, guest room, which has a bathroom attached, luckily, and I kind of kept myself in there. While in quarantine at home, her test came back positive, and she remained isolated. It, there was certainly a, a few times from a daily basis where I wondered, you know, I'd go to sleep wondering, huh, I wonder if it's going to be a lot worse tomorrow or if I'll require more care. After two weeks yeah, and seeing significant improvements to her health, she soon returned back to the clinic. I, I was very, very lucky and my symptoms were basically resolved by the time I was able to exit quarantine. She now takes even more precautions when dealing with patients. I felt pretty comfortable coming back. Of course, I basically didn't take the mask off at any point during those those first few days I was back, just out of an abundance of caution. The only thing she's carrying now is experience that she hopes can help ease patients toward recovery. Every day is an adventure, we'll put it that way. This is both a scary and exciting time to be in medicine, um, and I'm just glad that I'm here to help my patients navigate through that. Now to see the latest numbers of COVID-19 cases, prevention tips, and helpful resources, you can find it all on our coronavirus page at kelloland.com.